CCIE or die.com. I'm Artec and this is Switch 300-115-1.4 Configure and Verify Trunking 1.4a VTP version 1, 2, and 3 plus VTP pruning. VTP, it had to come to this. I am not a fan of VTP and I wish it would go away. Okay. VTP stands for VLAN Trunking Protocol, and it has nothing to do with trunking. Did I mention I hate VTP? It is still part of the Switch blueprint and still part of the CCIE V5 blueprint as well. Far be it for me to understand why. VTP is a Layer 2 messaging protocol that will apparently help manage the addition, deletion, and renaming of VLANs in an enterprise network. You, as the administrator of this network, need VTP desperately because you cannot seem to manage your VLANs by yourself. VTP to the rescue. The premise, a centralized switch known as a VTP server running the VTP protocol will allow you to distribute all the VLAN adjustments you make at least 11 or 31 times a day to other switches known as clients throughout your switch network. VTP version 1 and 2 will not support extended VLANs, even though your network really needs thousands of VLANs. Thankfully, VTP version 3 came along to support extended, re extended range VLANs, so now you can sleep at night. Caution, and this is very real. A new switch out of the box is configured as a VTP server. Always set that new switch to transparent mode before deployment. A VTP domain is a single administrative authority governing the switch network of which each switch is a member in order to participate in VTP. Before adding a new switch to the VTP domain, ensure that the configuration revision number is lower or it could whack your current VLAN structure. So let's have a, a quick look at show VTP status. And we can see it's set to null. It's running version 1. We can make some adjustments. Config T. VTP mode, we'll make this a server. VTP domain, VTP loser, and VTP version 2. Great. Now we'll end here and go to 10.1.1.2, our other switch. Show VLAN brief. We can see there's no VLAN configured. Config T VTP mode client VTP version 2. They have to be the same. VTP domain name is going to be VTP loser. And now it should receive some updates to show, actually not yet, we have to make the updates. So shift 6 X to go back to core 1, config T, VLAN 10, 20, 30, exit, and, and we'll show sessions. We should be session one. Go back to core two. Show VLAN. And like magic, VLAN 10 and 20 appear. Isn't, isn't that awesome? The server can create and modify and delete VLANs as well as other parameters, including version. Configurations are saved to NVRAM. If NVRAM is faulty, the mode on the server will automatically change to client mode. The client mode. The VTP client transmits and receives updates on its trunks, but cannot create, change, or delete VLANs. In transparent mode, it does not officially participate in VTP. It doesn't synchronize nor advertise, but in versions 2 and 3, it will forward advertisements on trunk interfaces. Creation, modification, and deletion are available to the transparent mode switch. There are differences between v2 and v3 that should probably be looked into for the exam it is usually this kind of thing that cisco likes to test especially with a decidedly unpopular subject just to piss you off see the link below for the video with details for that finally and perhaps vtp's only worthwhile feature is pruning 
a VLAN configured as pruned, meaning that this particular switch does not have a port in a particular VLAN, will not receive flooded traffic for the particular VLAN. Consequently, that switch will not receive broadcasts, multicasts, unknown or unicast flooded traffic for that VLAN. And that's going to do it for me with VTP. Thanks for suffering.